It is week 58 of a corner chat. Let's talk business with Mr. Daniel Steinman. I am your hostess, Elsa Bittimiani, and of course, a warm welcome to all our listeners and to Mr. Daniel Steinman. Thank you, Elsa <laughs> uh, It's good to have you back once again, and I'm sure the listeners are also excited to hear what we will be talking about today. But I can tell you that we will be talking about inflation again. And uh, yes, we will continue talking about it in the near future, in our, in our future conversations, because uh, inflation is one of those issues that we cannot run away those from. Those things. Yeah, yeah, we we can't run away from it because. It's, it's with you we every day. We breathe it, we eat it, we drink it, we do everything. We drive it. Exactly. So, uh, Mr. Daniel Steinman, inflation has, it doesn't want to leave us. It's rampant. Uh, it, it, it's it's rampant. out of control. It, it is, indeed. Elsby, have, have you noticed that a two liter fresh milk is now $44? You know what happened? Come, I tell you this one. Yep. I, I went to go buy uh, milk and I saw the price and I was like, okay, maybe this shop is more expensive than the other shops. So I decided to go to another shop. And when I got there, it was the same price. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, so this shocking, is what yeah. I have to deal with now and make peace with it. Yeah, you know that it's unbelievable to think that in, in about six months, the, the price of a two liter fresh milk went from $26 to 44 mm, mm. you know now that means that with that specific item we are approaching 40 yeah. percent uh, this is a distortion i will grant that to anybody but milk is something that you have to have every day it's you know it's, it's, it's one of those non-discretionary mm. items mm. you have to you have to pay a taxi every day mm. you have to buy milk you have to buy bread mm. it's it's not one of those luxuries that you can forego for a while when yeah. it's too expensive yeah. or like certain types of fruit that are very seasonal yeah um, you know sometimes in the year you can you can buy a whole box full of them more than you can eat yeah uh, you throw half away and other times you can't afford one single mango, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. So um, it's not like that. Yeah. But what I what I first want to point out, Elsebi, is that there is an academic side to inflation, mm. and I think a lot of people think, yeah, it's part of economics that you can sort of just make the calculations and you you do the the price surveys every month. You send out the questionnaires to the supermarkets and the wholesalers. And you compile your statistics. It's all very good and very well. Mm. The statistics agency has to compile statistics on inflation. That's the academic Mm. side. But I want to take you back um, about 10 years, 12 years, when the Zimbabwe dollar, the Zim dollar, Mm. when it finally went kaput mm. underground and the Zimbabwean statistics agency diligently calculated inflation every day although it was running at something like 2000 percent a day mm. now you can you can imagine for yourself if if inflation is 2000 percent a day a day it means the supermarket has to increase their prices 10 times a day by about 10 percent which creates a completely ridiculous Mm. situation. That's Mm. also the reason why the Zim dollar broke down completely and why it had to be abolished, Mm. you know. Now, we're very, very far away from that, and the the reasons are different. I'm telling the story to sensitize our listeners that they must not be blindsided Mm. by the academic side of inflation. Mm -hmm. Um, The statistics agency can be can be as good as they want to be in their calculations and their schedules and projections and comparisons, inflation over six months, one year, five years, ten years, it all becomes irrelevant when you've got a $50 note in your pocket and you have to pay everything that you, or buy everything that you need for that day with that $50, and six months ago you could do it, Mm. and now you can hardly afford a two liter milk. Yeah. And I'm not using that word lightly. Inflation in Namibia is now starting to border on the ridiculous side. Mm. It's really rampant. Mm. And it is and the the painful part of it it's inflation with stuff that we really need mm. it's not just inflation 
uh, with the items that we can say, ah, I, I don't need that now. Buying a car or yeah. buying a house. Um, and there's, there's, there's something else, but I, I'll talk about that in, in the second part of our discussion. It's a technical term. It's called substitution. Mm. So um, remind me that I come back to substitution Certainly and won't. tell you its function in the, in the bigger inflation mix. Mm. What, um, what's important now is to realize that inflation has a direct impact on your life and that it that impact is there every day mm. you can't escape it mm. and i think this is what what um, the people in the ministry of finance should realize mm. when they talk about inflation is um, you can talk about the academic side to analysts and economists but when you talk about when you talk to the population you're talking about the impact of inflation mm. on their pocket on their daily the, lives. The wallet gets thinner and mm. thinner and thinner and thinner every day. Mm. And I personally see some sort of a crisis coming before the end of this year, especially with regards to specific items mm. that are highly inflationary and that is not subject to the same seasonal movements that you see in fuel mm. and in food. Mm. And uh, with that said, I really do hope that our ministers are actually listening and, uh, you know, call Mr. Daniel Steinman in for a meeting so that they can further discuss this. But uh, let's quickly go for a short break.